everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this video. I trust and hope that you guys are doing fantastic this morning. And we're looking at this graphic and we can see our three areas to watch. We've got Nigel as well as uh, that area marked off the southeastern US and off the African coast. So we're going to be looking at all of these systems and also what is happening as it relates to rainfall activity across the Caribbean. And uh, there are is a tropical wave out there which is likely to bring a rainfall increase so we will be taking a look at what the gfs and euro anticipate as we head to later this week in terms of rainfall activity and so let's go ahead and take a look at the satellite imagery there is nigel not the most defined hurricane out there it is battling some unfavorable conditions that front extends from parts of the gulf into florida going back out and then uh, we can see some scattered showers and thunderstorms across sections of the caribbean and surrounding areas and take a look at that out in the main development region so all that activity is in association with a tropical wave out there let's go ahead and take a look at the surface chart and there you can see it being marked so a lot of activity in association with this wave and it is this activity this tropical wave here that is likely to bring that rainfall increase to parts of the caribbean later this week which would be some really good news so hopefully that actually comes to fruition because it has been very hot and very dry across some areas and this would really help to offset the drought that many islands have been going through for some time now so let's go ahead and take a look at the region and here we can see that we've got these as i said scattered showers and thunderstorms across parts of the caribbean so there is an upper level trough in the area so that is helping to induce the activity that we see and as we head through today here we're looking at what the euro expects as it relates to rainfall and where this map becomes more colorful heading to those shades of oranges reds and even those burgundies and purples in those areas a lot more rainfall is expected so going into some spots in Cuba, going to Florida, the Bahamas, uh, potentially in the Cayman Islands and parts of Jamaica as well. Some spots in Central America, especially heading down to parts of eastern Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and down into uh, Colombia and Venezuela, there's likely to be some substantial rainfall, especially this afternoon as it relates to that daytime heating. So uh, if you're going out, guys, please ensure that you have your umbrellas with you. And scattered showers here and there are possible across sections of Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and even some spots in the Lesser Antilles. But for the most part, there isn't going to be a whole lot of activity as we head uh, into throughout today and into early tomorrow morning. But as we head to later this week, let's take a look at what the Euro and GFS are expecting. So this is the total precipitation between now and the end of the week on well, near the end of the week, Friday night. So this is GFS up first. And here we can see it. So there we are seeing those shades of reds, burgundies, purples across sections of the Western Caribbean and also uh, in the vicinity of Florida, the Bahamas, Cuba, and over the Lesser Antilles. Take a look at that. It's getting very colorful over there. So again, as we head to later this week, especially around Thursday, Friday, that is when uh, there's going to be, there's likely to be that rainfall increase across sections of the East Islands. However, let's take a look at this area here for the ABC Islands. Unfortunately, there is likely not going to be a rainfall increase or any substantial rainfall increase for you guys. There's that little dry pocket right there. And then as we take a look at what the Euro model is expecting for most of the region here on this map, we can see that it is pretty colorful. So again, this is the rainfall total. This is not all expected in just one day. The so rainfall totals up to around uh, two inches, maybe even higher up to three or four inches in some spots possible as we head through to the latter part of this week so that is what is on the horizon guys there we see that dry pocket again for the abc islands unfortunately because what is happening is that all this activity is going to be drifting up to the northwest and uh there isn't going to be a whole lot of rainfall or much of a rainfall increase within the three islands and so let's now go ahead and talk about our marked systems and we're starting off with the southeastern u.s so the formation chance hasn't changed much hasn't changed as it relates to this 30 percent chance of development with that low pressure area potentially four men later this week and once it remains offshore then we could see some development of it and eventually a subtropical depression or storm could become of it so that is what is anticipated right now and uh, we've got our next area here now take a look at this this is a little bit of a difference 
compared to a few days ago or even yesterday. So we're seeing this sort of west northwestward track expected of it now. That westward track for a bit and then more of a west northwestward uh, track. So the high pressure system, the Azores High, is uh, potentially going to be weakening a bit to allow for this to start to move on that west northwestward track. So let's go on to some model data and we're starting out with the euro. So here we are. This goes out to next Tuesday and we can see that there are two sets, two clusters out there in the main development region. So that tropical we've expected and something else coming behind it. So uh, we could see multiple tropical waves out there attempting to get themselves together. And then as we head to Thursday of next week, take a look at this. We're seeing this curve up to the north expected by most of these ensemble tracks here. And then there are uh, there's the next cluster for that next tropical wave. Looking quite interesting. As for the GFS ensemble members, this goes out to the next Thursday. So we can see here that uh, they're definitely picking up on that subtropical system, trying to form off the southeast, not showing anything too strong out there. And uh, there we can see that we've got this northward or this northwest trend as well with these. So in previous updates, there were more members expecting the westward track of the system. And now we can see that that is kind of changing here. So with the weekend high, there is going to be that better chance of a northwest track of the wave once it makes its way from the African coast and, and tries to get itself together out there, potentially becoming a named storm, which is pretty likely. There is no invest designation because, again, we've not had those low pressure areas actually form yet. So invest is not designated to these. And then invest is an area of investigation being closely watched for a development. That is when uh, the model guidance becomes available as well as high res data on the systems. Now let's go ahead and talk about Nigel. So here is the hurricane on the uh, infrared satellite imagery. So it is battling a bit of dry air, but there is that eye becoming more and more apparent on the satellite. There is Bermuda, so it is going to remain well offshore of Bermuda, and it is no longer expected to become a major hurricane. So here we are taking a look at the cone forecast, and Nigel is not expected to become a major hurricane. So it might strengthen a bit more, potentially reaching Cat 2 status, but it is unlikely that it will reach Cat 3 status out there. And afterwards, it will be accelerating further into more unfavorable conditions, which will induce eventual weakening and dissipation of it. So that is what is going on with Nigel and overall that is basically it for this update video so again that rainfall increased slightly across the Caribbean uh, the eastern islands of the Caribbean which have been experiencing drought conditions for some time now and then we've got our two areas to watch for potential development out there and so of course I'll be keeping you guys posted and that is pretty much it for right now but if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments I'll respond once I get the chance to do so and as always remember to bow the wise.